All right, I think it's time we can start digging into our next assignment. So we're gonna really focus on some interior details in this model. And uh, we're gonna use an existing space, but we're not going to replicate the existing space at all. So this is just for reference. Um, I, let's take a look at the plan first. And I wanted to give you a quick, uh, a quick personal tip, which is, um, and I have no stake in this company by any stretch, but I love, love, love these grid journals and I use them all the time. Um, they come in a bunch of different sizes, and the, the awesome thing about them is that they are gridded in such a way that when you're drawing, um, each little box in reality is an eighth of an inch. So you can actually make drawings to scale or sketches as you're, as you're going. So when I go and I take a, um, when I go and measure a space, I have, to do, I have to measure spaces all the time for my job. So when I go and measure an existing space, I'm able to measure the space and then just follow the, uh, follow the boxes. And I can pretty much draw every single drawing to eighth of an inch. And then that makes it really easy when I want to go into SketchUp. I can take the plan and I can uh, scale it using the tape. Um, just basically either to eight feet or using one of these little, one of these little boxes as one feet. So again, these, these journals are uh, really, really useful. Um, I was able to get mine at Hennessy and Ingalls, which I think has moved to downtown. But you can also get them online. Anyway, just a quick tip. I really like them a lot. Um, all right, so this is our model. We're going to be working on this, on this interior plan. And what I want to do in this model is pretty much ignore this uh, elevator wall because we're going to set up all our views so that we're looking in at different, um, at different angles into the space here. So I don't want to go too crazy and, and, and detail out the whole thing. Um, <clears throat> here's our space. It's... Uh, high up, it's on, it's on, I think, like the 11th or 12th floor, so we got all this great sunlight coming in. There's uh, room for a few different uh, seating arrangements, um, and I'm going to give, give you a lot of freedom on this to kind of design it how you want to design. Just You'll just follow along with me for a few of the major gestures. We're pretending like this wall here, where the exit door is, actually has a fireplace because I want to be able to put something like that into this place and not just focus on doors and windows. So over here, that's this wall. We're, we're assuming that that's a fireplace, but you'll see that in the model when you download it. Okay, we've got some doors. We've got a baseboard that we're going to have to work on. We've got some columns and some windows that we need to detail out. Um, and then we've got this great ceiling with this little cove here and some some molding up along this place. And we've got some, we've got some caps on these columns here. So there's plenty of detail that we can start adding in. And, and we're assuming that, that this is our new project that we've been hired to do. We're completely redoing this space and we're redoing it however we want. Okay, let's take a look at the model. Um, you're able to download uh, the model that I've provided and it's a really, really basic model. And you can see I've already brought the plan in and I've already modeled out a lot of the, a lot of the real, real basic things. So we have basic door and window heights. We've just got a nice rough foam core model that we can work off. And this is the existing fireplace that we're pretending is there and we're gonna adjust that and change it up to make it how we want it to look. So go ahead and open up the model and um, also go ahead and hide the ceiling. Let us first and foremost take this plan and put it on its own layer. So we're gonna go to window layers we're going to add a new layer. And this new layer is going to be called plan. And right away I'm going to file save this as my own model because I don't want this to be I want to I want I want to keep the rough model for reference and I'm going to call this model 3 and I'm going to call this detailed model. So this is the de the detailed model is what we're working on making. Go ahead and save that. Okay. So, I've got a new layer for plan. I want to immediately move this plan onto its own onto its own layer. Make this window a little smaller. Okay, window entity info. Select the plan and move that to plan layer. Now I can turn it on and off. Great. Let's move the plan down in space a little bit, straight along the blue axis so that it's now out of our way and we can turn it off when we want. Now we don't have a floor, so we just need to quickly make a floor slab. If you start at the origin point with a rectangle and drag it out, go ahead and make it way bigger than the model needs to be. Group it, give it some depth or thickness, and then close. 
Okay, so this is my starting position. This is what I want to be looking at. I don't want to see that ceiling because the ceiling is in my way. So I'm going to hide both ceilings there. We'll eventually pull them back, but this is going to be our working, our working um, position. Go ahead and hide the layers. Don't need those anymore. So I want the plan layer off until I want it back on. So I'm just going to leave it off for now. It's still in the file. It's still in the model. That's all good, but we don't want it on. Okay, window and scenes. Let's add a new scene. And I'm going to call this work perspective. Great. So now every time I want to get back to that shot, that's what I'm looking at. Awesome. Now I want to create a couple of scenes and I might adjust these down the road, but I want to create a couple of scenes looking in at this space. In one of these scenes, I don't want the elevators or this elevator wall in my way. So, I'm hiding it, and now I'm positioning my, myself down, and I'm looking straight into the room as if I've just stepped off the elevator. My eye height is at six, five foot six. That's fine. I'm gonna change my um, my camera a little bit. So I'm gonna go to camera, field of view, and I'm just gonna pull this back until it's a little bit more extreme. So I'm holding down on my left click, and I'm moving my mouse down. <clears throat> And I'm just dragging it back until I get a little bit more of a view. Then I'm going to right click and exit. Go ahead and reposition myself using my little, using my little uh, position camera right back to that same spot. Now I can see much more of the room as I'm looking into it. So this is going to be my first shot. So I'm going to, and in this shot, I want the, I want the um, ceiling unhidden. So if I hit unhide, it's also going to unhide that wall or unhide all, it's going to unhide that wall that I, that I was in. So if I select the wall, I can hide it. But now my ceiling element is back. Now we can add, and I'm just going to call this, in fact, I'm just going to call this scene one. I'm just changing scene two to scene one. Enter. Pull back a little bit. Let's take a look at it as if we're looking through this door in this corner here, or at this, at this corner point, I should say, looking that way. Okay, I'm turning a little bit, just basically just enough to hide the front wall. I just don't want to see that front wall. And then I'm going to add this as a new scene. Add. Call that scene two, enter. Now I'll do the same thing, just moving out and then moving into the model until I'm at this point here. I'm going to add my little position camera point and now using my left click, just rotating around until I can see enough of the room without having to see this front wall. And that looks good to me. I'm gonna add that as a new scene and we're gonna call that scene three. Okay, so what I have now is a working perspective shot that I'm sure I'm gonna be clicking back to quite a bit as I'm working on this model. And then I've got three little scenes that are just nice, clean little perspective shots. These are, these are my, my money shots where I'm gonna use these to sell this design to the client. So I can set these scenes up before I've done any design yet. I basically just have a nice little foam, foam, core, foam core model, and as I add detail and elements to this, those will all be updated within the scene.